Do you think Abiku Sensei did nothing wrong? I think that correction was pretty good. I love how the other, you know, sensei was going like, <laughs> you draw Unga Bunga Slayer, my caveman academia. You getting carried by these dumbass shonen audience. And she's like, you don't hit 50 mil in sales. There was some heated, heated debates going on. But hey, at the end of the day, it was just good banter. They got their conversations. They, they communicated, you know, what they needed to do in uh, a brash way. And now maybe Abiko Sensei can meet halfway and decide to, you know, be good and work with Go and everything. I heard that today's episode is actually really peak. Let's begin today's reaction. That's right, she got the ticket to watch, you know, Prince of Ping Pong. Wait, did she not even sit? Fuck you doing standing. You're supposed to sit and enjoy the whole immersive theater, you know, shifting around and that's the whole experience. What is she doing? すごい。I don't know. Like, I don't like it. Whenever you see an anime character with their hair covering the eyes, shadow casted over their eyes, like something bad might happen. Like, is she is she actually like agreeing, or is, maybe she's like reluctant to agree? I'm not sure. Do something, Raida. It's up to you. Sensei. Oh. Oh, that shift. I'm gonna be broke because of you, Abiko. Come on. Okay. Author's personal rights. Rights that protect the author from being hurt emotionally, right of integrity, right to prohibit alterations without permission. Basically, the author has the final say, right? They can have they have the greatest control over their work and how it's gonna be represented in even works like the theater play. Yeah. Probably <laughs> so basically, you know what? Let's do it. We'll take your script. What's a high chance the people watching the theater are gonna call your shit mid and it's gonna be a bad look on you threatening me? I don't know. We're just, you know, showing you the possibilities. <laughs> I approach my job ready to suck the <laughs> something of a geezer or to or to wait 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 not a single wait 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 for you did not have to say that you could have ended off with one geezer but he's like nah low key I like doing that shit fuck it I'll do it for free. <laughs> Okay, Ryder. Go on the goat. Compromise, that's right. Remember the final episode was pretty good. Thanks to Aqua. Oh, oh, oh. What is it? Meet halfway, right? Okay, I mean, she's willing to meet halfway, but there's a condition. At least she's willing to work with it. Things are looking pretty good now. Okay. Okay. 
企画がポシャることも多々あるから仲介屋の仕事としては下作もいいとこ So like it's never good to have direct communication in order because like again like people could take it personally so it's the middlemen involved work to kind of mediate that process but really thinking about it it really makes sense for the script writer and the author to have direct contact right but like again it's ill advised plan because it's gonna get too heated yeah, everything already got heated right who cares who cares who cares スクリーン前を移動しながら会話の方が旅口にもないやつですまあそれで食ってるんでこう見えて結構売れっ子なんですよおおオッケーゴア I see I see you <laughs> I don't even need this job It's got like three other products lined though ゴアさんが脚本書いた舞台見ましたプリンスピンポンおおどうでしただいぶ She loved it ふだんはああいうのかいいですかええ、得意なことはどんどんやっていきましょうわ、あ、ディンティンクダビコウビーウィリングトゥビーディスアジェネラスエンコンプロマイズングバットエブリティングイズロックントゥグッドバイスディ
Why does Himeko get the sword prop? But this dude has to fucking use his book like that. Even the background guy got some weapons, bro. You some real things? I don't know. Come on, give him something, bro. シンジクの頭か。どれほどの器か試してやる。すぐやのやつらを。いや、兄弟。そこもっと張っていい。もうドラマティック。で、グラスティル。トーキ。最悪ね。ストップ。トーキ。もっと本気。いや、ルール。
嬉しかった時の記憶。When was he ever happy? Back in season one? With the group there? Akane, really? You... He thought about Akane first. He never. Long s e n p i didn't show up first. Akane was number one. <laughs> Yeah, season one stuff. I wonder if there's any happy memories before he got, you know, reincarnated. More Akane? Oh, hey, hey, Lonely Senpai! <laughs> number two, though, number two. Is there gonna be any memories with Ruby? Wh wh where Ruby? Maybe Ruby number three now? But it's just like, yeah, Ruby is in this group. <laughs> but it's like, no, no, Memcho and Lolly said, but no, Ruby. Oh, there she is, there she is, there she is, there she is. Kana 2, Ruby 3. 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 K
Okay, so Akane is gonna get to know the secrets then. Oh, okay. I wonder how much he's gonna tell. Terrible incident. Keeping it vague. Okay. Yes. Yes. I was low-key hoping that Gotanda's mom would show up and say, Stop smoking in the balcony! This isn't even your place, you fucking loser! あの、すぐ錆びた金物のような血の匂いが少しずつ冷たくなっていく手の感触。おお、ウェイトディスクリプティブ。いつまでも頭から離れ。お前が持っと注意。ドクター。ヒスパスライフ。身を張って守っている。
Hajimari library. I'm just looking for like if there was like, you know, a porn folder here. No. There's no like big boob. <laughs> no, it's on top. He has a Hoshino and Aqua Hikaru, but no, it's, everything is pretty, pretty normal. And. And there we have it, episode 15, emotional acting, and yeah, I think that this episode, I think, is the best episode so far. Simply because it touched upon the murder mystery themes that everyone is watching this show for. I understand that the theatrics of, you know, idol stuff and the behind the scenes of entertainment industry is important, but everybody is really engaged with the murder mystery stuff. And what did we get today? Well, the first half was Goa and Abiko-sensei coming to terms, meeting halfway, and they cut a lot of shit out. And I am uh, interpreting this as there's a lot of freedom of, you know, the actors to really just clutch up since there's less material to work with and it's up to them now. And then, uh, there's some problem with Aqua not being able to emotionally act, right? Until Kana was like, hey, if you had a dead mom, think how sad it would be. And he's like, yeah, fucking imagine. Has a panic attack. And also the order of girls that was important to Aqua and thinking of happiness was Aqua's Kana. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Akane, Kana, and then Ruby. Those are like the three most important right now. Memcho kind of showed up for a bit, but I don't think it really counts, right? It was like a more of a group thing. But then the crazy shit is like his past life, the doctor. You know, anytime you see those white glasses blaming Aqua, that's clearly his past life blaming himself so much, thinking like, if only you could have protected her. But Aqua was just a child. It's such an unreasonable expectation to think that like a toddler could have stopped that murder from happening? Impossible, but it's like this guilt that he can't overcome, so he like blames himself. And we have Detective Akane. Just like, dude, the way that she was thinking, the gears in her head, just slowly going from one point to another, connecting the dots, and then even realizing that, yup, you are the secret child of I. I'm pretty sure Aqua, uh, sorry, Akane is, she is fully aware. But the, the the communication between them two when they were hugging, like I I don't think Aqua is aware. But Akane is getting really close, man, and like she's doing a lot of fucking work. I wonder if she's gonna be able to find a secret first. But I don't know. This is definitely one of the better episodes of Oshinoko, and I hope it gets the attention that it deserves. And it's that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed the reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.